From Chicago and all over the country, the newly vaccinated are hoping to hit the open road this summer. And if you need a new or used car, brace yourself for a bit of sticker shock. You see, a worldwide shortage of one type of computer chip is wreaking havoc on the automotive supply chain. And this is happening just as demand is increasing. The result? Record high prices for new and used cars and tough choices down the road. To some degree, it looks like maybe I'm going out of business. Any other year, Stephen Wade would be worried to see his 40 acres of car dealership space in Utah so empty. Instead, he's overjoyed. I've had the best year of my history in my whole life. I've had the best year financially. And how many look, years have you been doing this? Look at this gray hair. <laughs> I've been doing this all my life. Wade's lucky cards are all thanks to an ongoing shortage of computer chips. You see, it's been more than a century since cars were just four stiff wheels and a chassis. The first Chevrolet to offer wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now they're luxurious comfort machines infused with top technology. But the semiconductor chips underlying that convenience are also key to computers and wireless devices, for which demand shut up dramatically during the pandemic. Right now, it is a big problem. Cisco chairman and CEO Chuck Robbins this week. Semiconductors go in virtually everything. And what happened is when, when COVID hit, I think everyone thought that the demand side was going to, to decline significantly. And in fact, we saw the opposite. Global car makers have been forced to pause or reduce production. Ford's F-150 and Chevy Trailblazer are among dozens of popular brands impacted. We generally see uptick in sales starting in May and then going uh, July is another big month and then August. And Jessica Caldwell examines consumer trends for Edmunds and says this shortage means you're likely to make concessions on your next car. Particularly the F-150, because they sell so many, there are so many different ways you can configure that vehicle. And in times in which you have to scale back, you can't necessarily offer everything uh, to consumer. Wade says when it comes to Chevy Silverados, he usually has around 75 to offer. Right now, he only has four. And of all the cars you see on his lots, half are already sold by the time they arrive. So car buyers, he warns, should expect a different experience this summer. So you're saying be patient, be flexible, and be, be flexible. willing to dig a little deeper. With a little bit of patience and understanding, we can all work together so the system works, and it can work for the customer, and it can work for the dealer. Now, look, current predictions are this shortage could last the rest of the year, possibly into 2022. Wade says there is one small silver lining for customers. You can now get more bang for your buck in a, on a trade-in. They're apparently being valued at a premium by as much as 20%, but at the same time, you're less likely to get a deal on a purchase because demand is so high and supply is low. So then it evens out. I think I'm glad I bought a car last year. I'll yes. start with that. Yeah. And then also patience does not work well, sadly, for a lot of people. Well, especially you on a car dealership. You know, if like if you if you need to get out and get back on the road how, how long can you wait and and here's the thing this situation is only getting worse exactly now the worst is yet to come when it comes to the cars and the chip shortages and because of that supply chain issue you know president biden signed an executive order to look into this in february it will be a long time before the u.s can catch up and yeah. you could have a, a crunch come the holiday season for computer devices as well great story Earl.